Hello princesses and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today I have a video that's a little bit different, at least for my channel. I have a buildup of about 10 different products here that I either, one of two things happen. Small products that you guys requested that I give you my opinion on. Uh, so I purchased them, but they were kind of too small to merit their own video. Um, or big products that got held up a little bit and they're no longer as immediate and fresh as I like to get content up. So they're kind of leftovers, but they're all brand new product and gosh darn it, I had enough to make a full face. So that's what we're gonna do today. Let me tell you what we're gonna be looking at. I am gonna come back with nothing on my face and I'll tell you what we're gonna see. Today we're gonna look at the brand new Lawless Conceal the Deal Long Wear Full Coverage Foundation. We're gonna pair that with the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Touch Concealer. Then we are going to go in with the new Huda Balm Brow Fiber Brow Gel, that's a mouthful. We are gonna look at the uh, Westman Atelier iPods. I bought the shade Rendezvous. They're $88. We'll talk about that in a minute. I have the Rose Ink Divine Cream Dewy Cream Blush, which is awesome. I'm just gonna tell you right now. <gasps> we have one of my favorites. We have the Liss Aim High Press Powder Highlighter. I love their packaging, so I'm excited to review that. We have the new Ilia Fullest Volumizing Mascara. Love it. We are looking at the brand new Melt Perfectionist Lip Pencils. I've got quite a few shades of that that we're gonna look at. And we have Item Beauty by Addison Rae Lip Quip Clean Moisturizing Lip Gloss. And the shade is, hey y'all, I just wanted to say that, but that is the name of the shade. So I am going to come back, I think that's everything we got. We're gonna be using some of my favorite brushes. I'm gonna be dropping things on the floor. You know how it goes with me. So stay there, I'm gonna come back with literally nothing on my face and we are going to put this look together that you see right here, so stay put. Okay, here I am completely fresh faced, or as fresh faced as I can get really. And we're gonna just get, we're gonna dive in and get started. So let's start with our foundation. As you know, from me mentioning it earlier, this is the Lawless, it's new from Lawless, the Conceal the Deal Long Wear Full Coverage Foundation. This little guy is $39 and I went ahead and got it in the shade Sesame. Listen to it, doesn't sound like full coverage, does it? That's full coverage? I don't usually like full coverage, but I get compliments when I wear full coverage, so it's like maybe I should take the hint. So I'm shaking it up. Gosh, it sounds like the kind of thing I would like that's liquidy, right? And not very full coverage. So let's see. I am dying, but I'm not gonna do it, but I'm dying to use. You guys have got to see this. So Base Blue, the cosmetics company, indie company, Base Blue, sent me this makeup sponge. Take a look at it, I'll zoom in on it. It's a ghost for Halloween. And if you put it under a bright light and then put it in the dark, it glows green. It is by far the cutest darn thing I have ever seen in my life. I'm dying to use it, but I won't. I'm going to collect it. Yes, I'm going to collect a makeup sponge. Don't judge, it's so cute. So we're not gonna use that, but Base Blue has these little guys for sale for like 16 bucks or less, I think. I don't know, um, adorable. So get yours for Halloween because they're so cute. We'll use a brush, we'll use a brush. Okay, so. Let's put this on and see. This is the first time I'm using it. So let's see how I did on choosing my shade. Um, oh, it's so runny. This is full coverage. Look at that. Let me do it again in slow-mo. That's pretty runny. That looks to me like the kind of foundation I usually like for, um, you know, not full coverage, but I guess it is kind of. Okay, so we got uh, a Sonia G Fusion. Oh, it is full coverage. Oh, goodness me. Okay. <laughs> I did okay on the shade, don't you think? Oh, it's a little pale, but I bet I bet you it's gonna oxidize a little bit. Oh, that's right, when I got this, I'm forgetting. When I got this a few weeks ago, I actually did a spot of it. I'm putting a little bit more of it here on my hand. That is a runny stuff. When I got it, I actually did a little spot on my face. Um, couldn't quite tell the shade from that, but I just did a little spot just to kind of see. I'm gonna go over my eyes and everything here. Um, and it, it actually got really comfy and oxidized a bit. I do recall that now. I was wondering why the box was open. Honestly, it's like I'm acting as two different people here. Okay, here we go. So, 
By the way, it looks like I'm just scrubbing my face, but this brush is so gentle I'm not. All right, what do we think? So that is full coverage, uh, nothing else on my face, and I'm not usually a full coverage type. I just feel like I'm in stage theater makeup, you guys, when I'm in full coverage, and, and I did go heavy with it. Um, I would probably usually dilute it with something like a Hollywood Flawless filter, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about actually trying the products as they're intended. And so many of you out there like a nice full coverage for winter. It's super comfy, it is full coverage, which I suppose I need. It feels kind of light, but it's, you know, it feels like I have a lot on, right? Okay, so let's cover that up now for concealer, which I desperately need. We are going to give a go to the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Touch Concealer, which has been out for a month or so, and I have not tried it all. I got shades five and six, and these I didn't even open. So let's see if it works. Let's start with shade five, maybe for under the eyes. Nice, nice, big uh, doe foot applicator. And I don't know, I haven't watched reviews, so I don't know if this is kind of a thick or a thin concealer. And I don't know if I got the right shade. So we're gonna do five under the eyes. It's a little bit maybe should be brighter. Let's just use the same brush and just be real gentle because I don't mind if I get it uh, on the eyes. Let's see how it looks, guys. Whether or not to use a brightening shade of concealer under the eyes um, is, is kind of comes and goes with the times. That actually looks more like my skin color, but I'm okay with that. And the other shade I got, the six for the rest of my face, should be a little bit, let's see. Again, same doe foot applicator. Let's put it kind of here, here. I got kind of good skin today. Oh, I have some veins that show here. I'm having trouble seeing the difference between shade five and shade six. That's why I went ahead and used the lighter one under the eyes. And yes, I'm just going ahead and using the same brush. It's all blended in. Okay, so now we kind of have a base set. This so far, this, um, I have not worn this foundation all over the face, just a dot, but so far it's very comfy. I'm still kind of feeling like it's a little bit light and I don't have a bronzer out here. It's not sticky. I'll tell you that, it's not sticky and it's wearing and feeling like a serum light to medium foundation, even though I can even tell it's much more full coverage than what I'm used to, but with the feeling of lighter coverage. And usually what people like me, and maybe you object to, is that thick feeling of cakey foundation in a full coverage foundation, and I'm not finding that to be happening here. Okay, now the product I'm actually most afraid of, this is the Huda Bomb Brows Fiber brow gel in rich brown. I love, you know, my Tom Ford fiber brow gel because it's kind of a dry, I just like to go wah, 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 like that with the sound effects. So when the wand gets a little itty bitty, kind of like the Charlotte Tilbury one, I can sometimes have to, you know, add a drop cloth because I can make a mess. And if the product stays wet, which I fear this one will do, when I go to brush them, it goes up here and also makes a mess. It is perhaps, let's give this a try here as I talk. It is perhaps because I do not wax my brows. I just kind of pluck them a little bit. And in doing so, some of the more wet fiber brow gels, I'm being really careful here, will find the little baby hairs. See, if you wax, you're gonna get a really straight, you know, clean area there. But if you're just kind of plucking obvious hairs, you definitely have some baby hairs and it can find those and it looks a mess. Um, and that's usually my problem with these. So far so good with this, but I'm being very careful because I'm on camera. If I were not on camera, would I be this careful? I don't know. How are we liking the color of this foundation, by the way? Oh, look, I've already made a little bit of a blotchy mess. I'll let that dry first. See, I'm starting to get too comfy, guys. And I'm going too fast. Okay, but I'm brushing them up and I'm gonna let them dry. Okay, so this is, see? See, uh, this is what I mean. Uh, you know, I can tell you already that this is not a bad product at all, but it, it reminds me very much of the Charlotte Tilbury cover, colored brow gel, shaded brow gel. My brow gel of choice is definitely Tom Ford. If not, I like a clear one and then I just use a pencil, you know? Um, I don't think this is a bad product, but I can tell you already, I don't like those little fussy brow products. Okay, this feels like it needs some bronzer in me, which is the one thing I don't have out here, what do you know? Okay, 
Let's go with the, we have some highlighter, we have some cream blush. Let's put on the cream blush by Rose Ink. This is the Divine Cream Dewy Cream Blush. And I bought the shade Heliotrope. It is $30. By the way, let me back up and tell you that the Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer, which seems to be actually quite a good one if you're in the market for a new concealer, was $29. And that Huda Bomb Brow that I am probably would need a drop cloth to really use is $19. Okay, so we have the Rose Ink. They're a relatively new brand being uh, carried by Sephora. Um, and you know who they are. They're a young company. This is $30 in the shade Heliotrope. And it is yet another in a long line of cream blushes that I have not tried. This looks like it's kind of cream to powder, actually. So I went ahead and put it on one of Sonia G, Sonia G Fusion brushes. That's good for that. And let's see what we get here. Very pretty shade. I hope all the shades I have here go together well. Oh, what a pretty, this is interesting. This kind of, my brush kind of drags on it a little bit. Um, the way a liquid blush would feel, the way a powder blush would feel, it dra the drag on it is more powder. But it is a cream blush. What a pretty blush. You know, you guys, it's tough because Rose Ink is a small company and we're all kind of cream blushed out. But let me tell you, that does not look like a powder. That's good for someone like me. I'm trying to overdo it so you guys can really see the shade. This is good for someone like me who it tends to, I tend to go for powder blushes, but I'm kind of applying it like a powder blush. That's really pretty. It's a little bit Aunt Sally because I wanted you to see the shade. I'll do a little swatch of the shade here for you. Let me get my bracelets out of the way on my arm as well, just so you can kind of see it there. What a pretty kind of rosy pink. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Let's move on to a highlighter. For our highlighter today, I'm looking around my table here. For our highlighter today, I have a new one from Liss, their Aim High Pressed Powder Highlighter. Liss has such beautiful packaging, and if you've never tried Liss before, they are a really lovely young company, um, also at Sephora, that makes some beautiful products. So here it is. I got the Aim High Pressed Powder Highlighter in the shade genuine. This is maybe a little bit dark for me, but lately for some strange reason that even I cannot explain, I am kind of liking slightly darker highlighters. No, there's no reason for it. I just kind of like it. So let me go in there. Isn't this pretty? And I'll do a little swatch, but let's just put it on here. Somebody once said to me, you're using such a big brush. Well, why not? Go big and go home. That's what I always say. Okay. I'm gonna even add some over. I think I'm missing my Hollywood Flawless filter. So I'm go I don't have a lot of texture right here, guys. So that makes me a little bit luckier in that respect. So I can kind of just kind of go in and just kind of get glowy. I really like this. It's a very, very pretty, pretty pressed highlighter. It is a little dark for me and very golden, but I really, really like it. Let me show you it right there on my arm. Yes, that's a little bit dark for me but I actually think it's working for me. And I was just complaining that I didn't have a um, bronzer. So this is kind of, it's not in the bronzer spot, I know, but it's kind of adding in a little bit of that goldenness that I felt I was lacking with this slightly lighter shade. Meanwhile, I think, as I look around here on my table, that my brows are dry enough to maybe be able to brush through that. If you feel that your brows are ever crusty uh, from products that you've used, just let it dry and then brush them. And usually, unless it's an inferior product, which I doubt any of you would have, um, usually it will get rid of that kind of crusty feeling. Not a bad little product. The list highlighter that I was just looking at is $19. Not a bad price and a great little company to support. And the Rose Ink blush that we tried was $30. Okay, let's look at the eyes here. I did pick up, and I don't know, you guys, I picked up these Westman Atelier iPods in the shade Rendezvous. These little suckers are $88, and they're cute as a button. I didn't review them because by the time I hemmed and hawed and got them in, so many reviews had gone up, I was like, eh, forget it, and I kind of just saved them to play with, but I haven't had a chance to play with them. So Rendezvous is this little triplety here, which I will swatch for you. We have three different shades. We have Bone Chance. Let me just drop the cover there, pick that up later. Which is looks like it's kind of a olive shade. Let's do that twice. Kind of an olive shade, that's pretty. And what else do we have in here? Bijou, it looks like it's called. 
Ooh, they're soft. Ooh, they're not. I mean, for eighty-eight dollars, they better be, frankly. Okay. But you know, Gucci Westman, Westman Atelier, is one of my favorite makeup artists and would be yours if you've seen her stuff, I'm sure. And I just dropped another case. Gosh, these are interesting. I can almost press in and they're like almost spongy. Oh, I was, oh, and that's kind of a, so we have kind of a greenish shade, a kind of pink shade, a brown shade. Oh, it's interesting and the formula is really interesting. What do I put these on with? Okay, I'm gonna start with, um, now I'm more interested in this. At first I was kind of upset that they were $88 for those three shades. I still kind of them. Let's start with this pink shade here. How do I get this onto a, all right, let's try it. Now I haven't watched any, um, any reviews of this, so maybe I should have and you guys are gonna be hollering at me in the comments. I'm just kind of, putting this on here. It's a very, very nice eyeshadows. I'm still like 88 bucks. I mean, I love Gucci Westman, but 88 bucks for three. I mean, I guess there's a lot in here. I don't know. That's really pretty. Let me just use the exact same shade and go in with this more brown toned one. So they're in these little like pods. Oh, I mean, it's a really, really pretty. I don't know what to make of the formula. Um, but I do love her products. They are very special and um, you feel really, it's, it's like an experience to get these. In fact, I have to show you here, they come with a little like a dust cover, like an expensive handbag or really nice shoes would come with. So it's like, oh my God, now your eyeshadow comes with those too. I don't know why I'm acting. I'm gonna run that same shade under the eyes. I don't know why I'm acting so uh, shocked. You know I'm like the bougiest bee around. But I just, I am kind of shocked. It's kind of expensive, you guys. You know, I mean, we're not made of money. Let's use that green shade here and just kind of accentuate. I I will get back to you guys on these. I am, I think it's really, really pretty. Um, very subtle and very pretty. Uh, I could do a lot subtle and pretty that's not $88. I am not trying to throw shade at Gucci Westman because she's amazing, um, but that's really expensive. And there's a lot of like fancy schmancy packaging to it that I, and we pay for the packaging, you guys. We totally do. It's a very pretty eye look. That was $88, that eye look. Hey, do, 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 you know? Okay, uh, comment me in the comments. I'm ready. I like the discussion. That's fine. All right, let's look at this Ilia. I bought an Ilia mascara that's new. Where is it? It's hiding from me here. The um, fullest volumizing mascara. I bought the mini because I love mini mascaras. I try so many mascaras, you guys, that um, I love to buy the minis. I mean, it's $13. How can you go wrong, right? $13. This was $88, this eye look that you can barely see. I won't say anything. Okay, let's curl the eyelashes. What am I curling my eyelashes with? This is the Refer Eyelash Curler, which has replaced, I have the. I have this linked down below because I use it all the time. I also use my Surratt, so I've linked both of those below. They're my two favorite eyelash curlers, but um, let's use the Refer one today. Okay, and here is Ilia Fullest Volumizing Mascara. It's got a little bit of a caterpillar wand here. And let's see, fullest volumizing. This is interesting. So it's got, you know how to tell when a, let me just tell you a little secret that you probably know already. When a, vol, when a mascara is supposed to be lengthening, it always gives us that really thin tip. And when it is supposed to be volumizing, it always gives us this little caterpillar brush. I just hiccuped. Okay. That's pretty to go with my $88 eye look. I'm not, I can't get over that, you guys. It's not worth $88. Comment me in the comments. I'll be ready. I need to go watch some other uh, reviews and see. Maybe they're the best thing since sliced bread, according to the beauty community. I didn't try all the shades. I mean, that's really a pretty, a pretty look, but it's not an $88 look, right? It's a, maybe even a $70 look. Okay, this mascara is lovely, you guys. Look at my lashes. If you can see them from the 88 dot, I need to stop, I know. That is a pretty mascara. Should I put some on the top of the lashes too? I hate to do that because it just makes a mess, but I'm going to. 
Have you ever noticed that I've mentioned making a mess a lot? I'm like a child with kindergarten art. That's really, really pretty. Okay, what have we not used? I'm looking at my list. I have um, two things. I have, I know we don't have any eyeliner on and I should put some on. You know what I did bring over here? Let's just grab it. Eyeliner should go on before mascara, but that's fine. I have the new uh, Wayne Goss um, Tiger's Eye um, eyeliner. Let's just put a little bit of it on. This got its own little review, but I, since I don't have an eyeliner here, and as you know, I also don't have a bronzer. This is going to be tricky because I've got mascara on already. That's okay. This mascara is kind of nice. I'm liking this mascara more than the 88 doll. I said I would stop. Okay. We have two things now. I've got the Mel Melt Perfectionist. I like these. I've actually been playing with these behind your back. I have got the Melt Perfectionist Lip Pencils. These are really nice. They are $19 and they are kind of in those beigey shades. I don't like their nude lipsticks. The nudes, 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 N-O-O-D-S. I thought they were uncomfortable and and too pale, but I'm really digging these lip shades. So let's see which one we got here. We have cashmere. Let me show you here and I'll zoom you in. There's cashmere. I am really enjoying, I'll tell you what I like doing with them. Here is cinnamon. So they're all going to be these kind of brownie shades. Cashmere, cinnamon, and then we have bear. So let's see what bear looks like. You know, I think I'm going to use bear and I'll tell you why. I'm really loving lining the lips, kind of smushing it a little bit and then leaving them lined with nothing else on it or a nude shade on it. I'm really enjoying that sort of kind of an ombre look. I haven't been filling in my lips with the liner lately. And the reason I think I will use this lightest shade called bear is because the lip uh, up that I bought, brought out for us to try, is the new um, item Beauty by Addison Ray. They have a Lip Quip Clean Moisturizing Lip Gloss, and I got it in the shade Hey Y'all, so it's really pink, and this is an odd combo. Um, we can make it work, we're going to. So let's try this shade here in, and I'm going to really sloppily line my lips, but I'm not gonna fill them in. I should be humming for you. I'm just kind of bringing that down a little bit but not filling in the center. I just like that look in general. Now let's try this. Okay, the Item Beauty by Addison Rae Lip Quip Clean Moisturizing Lip Gloss in. Hey y'all, this is $14. The lip, <laughs> the lip pencil was $19, but I suppose that's more of the look. This smells like Tutti Frutti. This feels like a lip gloss that if I held this up during the middle school lunch, they would like run and jump on me in some sort of a huddle because it smells like Tutti Frutti and it's super duper shiny and your hair would get stuck in it and it's super duper gloopy goopy. Okay, what do you think? What do you think, guys? So that is... Oh gosh, nine or more, ten if you count the Wayne Goss, brand new products all on my face. What do I think of them? The Liss uh, highlighter is lovely. This one's a little dark for me, but I don't care. The uh, If you are in the market and ready to try a new um, a new cream blush, this is gorgeous. This uh, is amazing. The Rose Ink Divine Cream, that is a beautiful blush, wow. Um, We'll get to the Westman Atelier iPods in a minute. The Ilia Fullest Volumizing Mascara is worth your cash. If you're in line at the Sephora and you can grab it and throw it in. The Huda, if you don't mind working with that itty bitty brush and being really careful, it seems like a good product. Love the Melt Liners. This seems like a very, very properly good concealer from ABH. What do I think of this? Well, you know what? For a full coverage foundation, the Lawless Conceal the Deal Longwear Full Coverage Foundation seems to be pretty awesome. I love that it has that kind of a um, serum-like feel that would normally only be in a light coverage foundation. And I am kind of liking it and feeling like it's 
wearing. Actually really nice on me. Probably could have gone a little darker with the shade, but as it's oxidizing, you guys, I'm really enjoying it. I like the look at, all, at completely all of it. The Westman Atelier, like joking aside, it's a very pretty eye look. It don't spend $88, please. I'll have to see what other reviews say, but I mean, you know, I, I'm I'm liking the look we got going here, but my least favorite part is this because I just feel a little bit cheated for 88 bucks. Like I said, come at me and let me know what you think. Did you pick up any of these? Was this helpful in some of those little bitty products that um, we? I know you guys wanted to look at my thoughts on and I'm so appreciative of you asking. So do let me know. I'm actually really happy with this. Uh, leave your comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.